Okay, so what we have here is our <laughs> Premiere timeline. And what I do is, see these little red markers are the chapter points in Encore. So if I right click, it says Procession, uh, Unity Candle, the Rings. I go ahead and uh, edit marker here, Procession, that's the Procession. It's an Encore chapter marker. I set my chapter markers in Premiere. When your project's completely done, you're ready to export it. This is a ceremony and reception completely full with all chapters laid out where I want them. You go to File, Export Media with, with this window selected, obviously. And what I do is I set it to H.264 H Blu-ray, sorry, my bad, MPEG-2 Blu-ray. MPEG-2 Blu-ray and then you want to go into the advanced settings here and how you do that is you go to the video settings I put the quality all the way to the top depending on the length of the project if the project is this hour this project's an hour and 14 minutes so a blue a blu-ray uh, mpeg 2 will be the best quality at that speed at that um that size anything let's say two hour, less than two hours MPEG-2 will work fine anything uh, let's no let's say an hour and 45 minutes anything an hour and 45 minutes or less blu-ray HD uh, MPEG-2 blu-ray is fine but what I want to do is because you can see that's it's the total size is 16 uh, 16 gigs so your blu-ray is 25 gigs you're fine I make it uh, VBR2 pass you can leave it on high depending on the uh, length of the project. If the project is approaching two hours, you can drop it down to medium. You'll get it 14. You can even make it custom. And what I'll do is, since I'm doing two pass, you can even make it lower. But we're going to leave it on high because we want the highest quality out of the encoder. Now for audio, I change it to Dolby Digital. Uh, change it to 320 instead of 192. Dolby Digital, so it'll make an AC3 file and pick where you want to put it so I'm gonna put it in uh, Katie and Jarrett this is their name of their project what I do is I make a new folder and call it HD files or blu-ray files anyway HD blu-ray files and I put it in here and I click Save and that's where I want the M2V and MPEG files then you just simply queue it or export it and you don't have to check maximum render quality because it's you'll see it's set up at 1920 by 1080 it's full HD minimum and maximum anyway you click export when you export it then I'll show you how to do the next thing okay so once your file is completed I just paused it and continued you go to uh, TMP GENC Video Mastering Works. That's the other program that I use to make the Blu-ray size file, the HD 1080p file, into a 720p DVD file. Um, Premiere doesn't do as good a job at resizing the video down to 720p that I found. I mean to um, SD uh, 720 by 480 that I found so it seems to it seems a little bit blurry to me even to pass through Adobe Media Encoder still looks blurry to me so I use this program Video Mastering Works um, you don't have to necessarily they make like two or three other uh, video encoders that work this is just happens to be the one I bought so um, I do it from files Uh, it should come up with a thing asking me where the file is. Uh, let's see. We're going to go to computer, internal video. I'm going to go to Katie Jarrett and HD Blu ray files. There's the file now that I made it. And actually, you just bring in the first one and it'll automatically bring in the AC3 with it. So you can just click open.
and it moved it over to my other screen so I'll bring it back over here see it automatically found the AC3 file audio it automatically found the AC3 file along with it so it tells you what size it is see it's 1920 by 1080 you can cut and edit if you want to like if you had a just a raw file and you wanted to shorten it or lengthen or whatever in here and you can also add filters in here if you want to make it mono or change it to progressive or whatever you want to do there's all kind of extra stuff in here but I don't I don't need to do that so I'm just gonna continue and then I go to format and I'm gonna make it um, DVD, DVD standard MPEG file and TSC prioritized quality 16 by 9 specifications Dolby digital variable bitrate click select and it actually automatically assumes you're going to fill it a, a, a DVD with this one file, which I'm not. I'm actually going to put this file and several other files on a DVD, including menus and stuff like that. So I like to move it down. Make the audio 224, that's fine. But this bit rate, average bit rate is 74. We need to make that a lot lower. So I'll make it about, let's try 64. Um maximum bitrate I like to limit the maximum to 8000 changes it to 8000 minimum bitrate I like to raise it from 2000 to around 3000 because 3 2000 is a little bit too uh, it's too it's too low for some players for a minimum and you can even to get more room you can make it 192 which works fine so that gives me it's telling me it's gonna be sort uh, authoring size 36 3.6 6 gigs we'll make that a little bit lower so I'll drop this down a little bit more I want to make a little bit more room for some more stuff on the disk so 6400 let's go let's go to around 61 I like to leave I'm leaving you know just almost almost just over a gig left of space on the disk for because I have some more stuff to put on there two pass it's got two pass variable bit rate encoding so I'll double pass it click OK now you also have to go over here and change this to elementary steam stream elementary stream video and audio separate for Encore to see the files and then you just go to encode and then you pick where you want to put it so I'm gonna go back to the same it automatically goes to my documents or wherever you set it you can set it where you want to so I'm gonna to go to my internal drive I have a ton of drives on here but we're gonna to go to Katie and Jarrett and now I'm gonna make a new one and call it DVD files DVD DVD video files so now that will tell me that's the DVD files off of there next time it'll put it in there and then you just click export and it tells you do you want to put this wedding reception full m2v wedding reception full ac3 file in there yes and that's it so that's how i create my files and the dvd looks a lot better if you let this program encode it rather than premiere encode it also i'd like to mention that when you're um when your uh, Premiere sends out files, if you want the chapter points to show up in your DVD video files when you import them into Encore, you have to go to the location where your HD Blu-ray files were, the original Blu-ray M M2V and AC3 file, and Premiere will send out these two other files, uh, this XMP file and this XMPES file. I'm not sure exactly which one it is that has the information because I didn't. I just copied them both, and I choose copy and then you go you copy those files and paste them into the folder where your blu-ray your DVD files are gonna be so before you import these files in these two files into Encore it'll automatically see the chapters that you put in Premiere and when you exported it from Premiere I hope this helps